here we are with Mushoku Tensei episode 5. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And also, let's get to the episode. And here we go again with Ghislaine. <laughs> Oh, she can't read, okay. Looks a bit dirty. Hell yeah, mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I guess she takes the stuff serious. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's a sword king. Okay. Damn. It seems that way, lucky bastard. Five years. Mm hmm. <clears throat> okay. I guess that makes sense to some degree. <laughs> what the fuck? So it basically says, <laughs> so it basically says, the one you teach, you can go for her. But Ghislaine is mine. Asshole. Because Ghislaine is the real jackpot. <clears throat> you just have to wait five years. <laughs> Bunny girl? Dog girl? Cat girl? Ghislaine is still the best. I guess the girl he's teaching is the girl with the red hair that I saw on some pictures and screenshots and shit. Oh, also gray red. <clears throat> oh. Interesting. <laughs> you sure did? Nothing much. So there's more. But what more is there supposed to know? <laughs> what is that? That it's fair game? 
Wolf både. <laughs> I guess that's true, right? It is. Yep, it is. <clears throat> is she rude to him? Yep. I, I, I wanted to say, is she gonna slap him? Is he... <laughs> <laughs> yep, she's like not having that. <laughs> oh my god. And she's going all out. God damn, dude, what the fuck? And they're just like, yeah, it's fine. She's blind, okay? Didn't expect her to go this far. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can see why. <laughs> yeah. Man, this must be difficult for him because of his past. <clears throat> because Because of his past, he had to deal with bullying, and she is kind of like bullying him, right? But here, against the other bullies he had in his village, right? He could just flash back, right? And <clears throat> beat him up, basically. But here he can't. <laughs> so he just has to endure it and somehow see, find a solution for this whole thing. Yeah, I guess this brings back memories, right? Oh, no? Okay, good. He has it here. <clears throat> oh, but he... Yeah, the other holy relic. <laughs> Is he tied up? He's tied up. In a box. <clears throat> and now it turns out it's... And now it turns out it's real. <laughs> the face, dude. Evil. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> He's blinking. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Goddamn. Yeah, he thinks I'm banned. They go too far. Goddamn, dude! Isn't she like leverage? Like a hostage? To get some money or something? Or sell her or whatever? God damn. <clears throat> dude, if he didn't realize so far that this is real after this dude, holy shit, dude. Her teeth are out? Come on, you have to realize that this is not fake. Yeah, ceiling magic? I want to say, healing would be very good now. Why just a boy? So they don't need her necessarily. <laughs> Ooh. Not very strong stones. <laughs> Dude, he goes all the way. You have to promise, otherwise I won't help you. <laughs> So why is Rudy more important than her? I mean, she's from a noble family, right? Or something. Rudy is basically just a boy from a small village. Whatever. <laughs> of course. Rethink your situation. <laughs> and she's quite a big, bit bigger than him. <clears throat> I mean, how does this all happen? She can also not read, okay? I mean, I guess it makes sense that in those old times, not everyone can read, right? <laughs> but I mean, it's a good thing that Rudy is not a pussy, right? That he's like pretty mature for his age. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because he's basically 40 years old. But... He is not afraid of anything, really, right? At least this far. I mean, there is a, some points where he has a bit like, where he's a bit worried or anxious, right? 
But even though he was in a tough situation that was very dangerous, he still was calm and searched for a solution to get out. <clears throat> Just that it's not the plan. Is he a bad guy that infiltrated basically as a is in an inside job? Yep, I guess so because he is not moving at all. <laughs> nice, goddamn, that's a big wall. <laughs> Oh, she keeps her promise. Stays quiet. That's nice. Yep. So she is important. Eh? <laughs> Damn. Hey, I'm done in like just a few days instead of five years. <coughs> but we know Rudy's not taking it right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, games teach valuable lessons sometimes. <laughs> it's a signal. We are here. Firework. Oh, there's Ghislaine. Hell, oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, some earth spikes. <laughs> yes, it is bald. Did he boost himself away with fire or earth? And he rooted him on the ground. Dude, Rudy is so badass. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh man, my she is fast on all four. Hell yeah. I love her. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes. And the blade is the blade red by nature? I think it's not right. I guess it's red from the blood. <laughs> I love her so much and she's hyped. I guess he is shocked because this is the first dead person he sees, right? I guess that's something to stomach for many people, right? Especially like this when they are like decapitated. There's blood everywhere.
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Of course, now he is sorry. <clears throat> and Rudy feels bad, I guess. <laughs> I mean, maybe, who knows, right? <clears throat> I think we didn't get an opening this episode, right? Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But man, this was a very interesting and crazy episode. I would say like really um <clears throat> so obviously let's go through the episode episode that i don't miss anything um obviously we start with the beginning and um paul give gizlane a letter for rudy and i like the shots of gizlane with the muscles right <laughs> i love it um but yeah it, it seems like gizlane is like very the straightforward guy right it, it seems well not guy but person right she seems like to not really understand sarcasm and all that stuff right i guess she just takes everything literally and it's very serious it seems like um <coughs> what i think is interesting is that he says um that he that the girl he's teaching is fair game but gizlane is not allowed right because it's she's his or he said she's mine the young lady is fair game but hands off the strong woman she's mine which is very interesting that he said that because he just had this the whole thing going on with lilia right and now he's like hey she's mine too is this maybe why um gizlane said to send it back to zenith Zenith, so that she can read that and <laughs> give him another earful or something. Um, <clears throat> and then yeah, we have we find out that Paul has a cousin that is the mayor of one city. So I guess you can say they are somewhat noble or something, right? And yeah, he's teaching the daughter. Um. Which is interesting again because um, which is interesting again because um, Paul says yeah she is fair game but the father says hands off her <laughs> right <laughs> um, I mean I, I don't think that they would be like okay that, that they like said okay yeah Paul said yeah you can do whatever you want with her and that the father would be like, oh yeah, you can do whatever you want with her, right? I mean, Paul, I guess Paul just says, hey, if you want to do it, you can do it. And the father is protective of his girl, obviously, and is like, yeah, hands off her, right? Um, I guess it's just like differences between cousins, right? 
Um, but I, I, I had in mind something where I thought maybe something that was Rudy supposed to know that Paul didn't said is maybe a marriage between Rudy and Eris, maybe? That, that it was like Paul and the cousin talked about it. But yeah, when the cousin said hands off her, I thought, okay, that's not the case anymore. And yeah, I, <clears throat> I expected her to be rude. And as soon as she turned around and looked already pissed, I thought like, will she punch him? But I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it, but I thought, will she punch him or slap him or whatever? And I thought like, nah, probably not. She's probably just uh, a bit arrogant, right? But nope, she just slapped him and punched him like... Holy shit, she went all out on him. It's kind of crazy when you think about it that everyone just stood by and did nothing, right? No one said anything, nothing like, hey, hold back or no, don't do that. The cousin of Paul just stood by and watched how Rudy gets beaten completely with like no limitations, no restrictions. She just went all out and punched him like crazy. He's like, yeah, that's fine. And afterwards, when Rudy was running away, he just sits there and he's like, yeah, man. What do you think? Will it work out? So, yeah, he's, I feel like that's, he's very calm about it, right? That there's like no, that there's like no reaction from him when Eris beats him completely. Which I think is a bit weird. <coughs> because if it was some nobody, some random teacher that he hired somewhere and she would do it to him, I would say, okay, that's fine, right? But we are literally talking here about the kid of his cousin that gets beaten up, that is younger than Eris. And she's like, yeah, that's fine, I don't care. <laughs> Which I think is like the weird part about it. And then yeah, they made, they made the whole plot that Eris and Rudy gets kidnapped, just that it turns out to be real. Um... Which I feel like is kinda was not completely obvious, but I wasn't surprised by it because the I don't know what do you want to call him the butler maybe he always looked at Rudy in a weird way, right? He always looked at him, stared at him, and then they were like tied up and stuff. And I thought like it could be a twist that it's like not fake, that it's real. <clears throat> and here's a confusing part. So, on one hand, they wanted to sell or use Eris to sell her or something, right? They needed her from what they said at the end. But at the beginning, the one guy that beat her up said, do we even need her? Can't we just use the boy or whatever, right? So, it's kind of weird that on, on one side, they want her for something. But on the other side, they just beat her up and don't give a fuck about her, right? So much that she has like teeth broken out, right? But I have to say, it's, it's kind of crazy that she got beaten up so badly, teeth are out, and she can still talk and be like, man, I will make you pay for this. <laughs> like, no zero fucks given, right? That's pretty brutal. And then, yeah, of course, she's like high and mighty and arrogant and don't want any help from anything because she doesn't like Rudy and all that stuff. I mean, pretty stuck up, right? Very, it's very much an annoying Brad. I, I'm really looking forward to see her character development, right? <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to see her character development and see how that turns out, how she changes. Because right now she's just Brad, I would say. <laughs> and some people say that Rudy is the boo man in the show, right? That people don't like Rudy. Um, but here we have Eris, and I feel like Eris is way worse. Because we know Rudy's backstory, that he was like, I mean, why? 
That's something I don't understand. Why do people hate Rudy so much? I mean, I can get it from what we know up to this point. I, maybe, maybe there will be something later. But I mean, this story is basically about him becoming a better person, right? From his previous self. So I don't know what could happen in the next episodes, in the future, down the line, that could maybe make people hate him. But right now, from what we know to this point, we know his backstory and sure, he wasn't the greatest person. He was an otaku, he was a shut-in. Um, he didn't go to the funeral of his parents or grandpa, grandma, whatever. Um, but I mean, like I said, I can, um, I can understand his point of view, right? He got bullied for a long time to an extreme degree, and I mean, he didn't went out of this world in a bad way, right? He didn't just die or something and just died as like a shut-in and stuff. He died saving people, like the ch the kids that got, from what it seems like, they got almost run over by a truck. So he died trying to save people, right? So in that regard, he didn't even die a bad death, right? He died a good death, I would say, in that regard. And he really tries to do a, to better himself. But from what we see from Eris right now, she has it all. She has a good life. She doesn't have to give a fuck about anything. And she is still stuck up, arrogant, beats Rudy that is not rude or anything to him. Just because... He, I wouldn't even say he talked back really, right? But she just doesn't want anyone to say anything negative towards her. Nothing. You just say yes ma'am and that's it basically. Um, so yeah, so far she seems way worse. So I'm looking forward to see how she will come out and get character development. I guess it might take a while, right? Before she gets better. Um, but yeah, um... Then they escaped and all that stuff. And it's interesting, they they escaped, they went away, they got back to the town where they came from basically and got found immediately. <laughs> Which is I think kinda interesting that they exactly knew where they were, right? Um like not only is a butler that uh, was maybe on the main road to the house, right, to the, their villa or whatever, that he maybe finds them, that he stands on the main road, okay, cool, but that the other ones were around too and instantly kidnapped her again, that was interesting that they, like, basically set them up again or something, um, and then, yeah, we saw Rudy fight, try his best, right, and this is the interesting part, like, not the interesting part like but one of the interesting parts <clears throat> Rudy feels bad about it and said that he failed because he didn't save her on his own but I mean <clears throat> you have to keep in mind he's only seven years old right now right and while he is very mature obviously we know why but while he is very mature and very strong for his age. He has no combat experience, no experience otherwise really in this world. And he almost was able to save her, right? If the one guy didn't throw a throw his sword, right? Without that, that he would have maybe gotten away, but then Gishlane came in because Gishlane came in came in and saved him. He feels bad about it that he didn't save her. But I mean it's not really his fault, right? That this whole thing happened wasn't his fault. It was the fault of the butler that conspired with those other guys and just basically did an inside job in the family, right? So that's not something you can really blame him for. And that's something I think is very interesting that he feels bad about it. And which is also interesting is from what it looks like. Um... From what it looked like, I could imagine that maybe the dad, the father, was maybe also mad at him. <clears throat> because I guess it makes sense, right? I guess 
they didn't knew what was happening, right? And they just see that they come back and Eris is dirty and hurt and everything. And then they think, okay, what happened? Why is she in the state, right? And Rudy feels bad about it because I guess he doesn't know what happened, right? I mean, I guess even Ghislaine didn't know what was going on, right? I guess she was just sitting there and keeping watch. And then she saw the firebolt, the explosion that uh, Rudy caused and went checking for it, right? To see what's up. So I guess no one really knew about it. And of, of course, the first assumption is what the fuck did he do that Eris is in this state when all that was supposed to happen is make this fake kidnapping and then get her out to show her that magic is so good that she wants to learn basically, right? Um, <clears throat> but again, it's like very interesting in that, in that regard that there's like no explanation going on, right? Same as with Paul when the f when the mother was like, yeah, your Rudy punched my kid, right? And now he has this bruise on his eye, right? And Paul didn't listen at all. And here they don't even try to explain anything. Rudy, Rudy just feels bad. Eris is not saying anything. Uh, the dad thinks that something went wrong and that maybe Rudy is to blame for it, right? Um, even though they had the butler roped up, right? So in that regard, it's very interesting how little explanation is going on and just everyone has their expectations of what happened without any explanation, <laughs> right? It's it's so it feels so weird in that regard that Rudy immediately gave up without anyone explaining anything. Ghislaine didn't say anything, Eris didn't say anything, Rudy didn't say anything. The only one that was saying something was basically the butler that is like, hey, it's not what it looks like, it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> and that's it. So in that regard, it's kind of crazy. But I mean, even if they would have explained it and Eris would be like, yeah, I don't want him, I hate him. Rudy, right? Then the dad would be like, okay, you failed. You can fuck off, right? That's how it would turn out, right? Um, because, I mean, again, the father didn't even care that Eris was beating him up, right? So if Eris would be like, yeah, I don't want him, then it would be game over for uh, Rudy. So that's the crazy part, I think. <clears throat> we have Rudy here, seven years old. And like I said, while he is mature for his age and all that stuff, while he is mature for his age and all that stuff, um, one second. And we have Rudy here, seven, eight, uh, seven years old. Um, and while he is mature and everything for his age, um, he's just in this world, seven years old, technically and saw his first dead person in front of him decapitated, sitting basically in his blood, right? And almost got killed in this world <laughs> and got kidnapped and everything and no one seems to give a fuck, right? And so yeah, it's just crazy and wild and yeah. I'm interested interested to see how this is going further now, how Eris character development will come out because like I said, she needs it badly, I would say. And I want to see how what happens with Rudy next, how he continues from here. I guess there won't be much change, right? I guess he just will do the tutoring stuff. Um I I I, I guess we won't see much, right? We don't see I, I would assume we don't see any um, conclusion to what happened here right now, right? I don't think we will see the dad talk about it really, Ghislaine talk about it really, I feel like. I think we just go on to the next thing and that will basically be Rudy living here and teaching Eris. I guess is what happens next and that's it. What I would like to have some conclusion where the dad talks about it about what happened where stuff gets explained and stuff right but maybe we get it i don't know we will see but yeah very interesting episode crazy episode and can't wait for more so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye